Okay. Um, hey guys, this is Yanni, the only loveologist. So today I am really quickly. This is Will, you guys know Will. Well, take a mask off. Let me see a beautiful face. Hi guys. <laughs> Will, you all know Will. We did many, many, many videos together. Just a recap. Will has been with me when he was 21. He's 31 now. I can't believe this. When, Mil, when Will met me, he used to come from Ohio all the way to New Jersey on his breaks, like spring break or whatever, and his locks were by his ears, like right here. He couldn't even do a messy high bun or a man bun. This is Will's here now. I'm the only person who touched his here all these years. Will knew me long before Jimmy was even a thought. That's when I was single, single, or it was just me and my dog, Monkey. Right? So I was actually going to cut Will's here today. He texted me, he booked his appointment. That's how you guys will hear him talk. He booked his appointment. He's like, yeah, I'm ready to cut my luck. So let's talk about cutting. And he changed his mind. I am glad because I was like worried, like, ah. But what happens to some of us? I'm one of the people where if anybody told me I would have cut my locks, I'd be like, oh, hell no, never. As some of us, we have a more heavy, more denser type of hair. So as it gets longer, it becomes like this. You guys hear that? Heavier. Will's hair is like mine. We have a heavy texture here. And this is here without any products, as you guys can see, because I never work with products, right? So Will here is now on the top of his butt. It's very long. It's heavier. So what is happening? He's starting to get neck pain. The same thing was happening to me. Now, my neck pain... It more got worse when I got, before I was diagnosed with Graves' disease. I didn't know I was having a th hy hypothyroid, so I was having horrible neck pain. So two days before I got diagnosed, I was so desperate, my mother cut my hair. Actually, the 17th, oh no, 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 the 16th of January, it'll be two years I cut my hair. I cut it on my shoulder, my hair is like by my bra now, it grows fast. So anyway, Will came this morning and came all the way from Maryland, shout out Maryland. He's like, Yanni, and I cut my hair like, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you're not cutting it. And he said something. I said, because I was going to do a video with you cutting with us cutting it here. And he said, I'm just going to get massages. So today's video is, is your hair heavy ways bothering your neck? Okay. Now, some people think as hair gets long, it thins out. So there's a video I have to post. I may have posted where that is furthest from the truth, right? Once you have a strong base, I have clients who hair is way longer than my mother's hair is by her ankles. And she has not cut her hair in like 30 something years. Not everybody has a heavy texture like Will and mine. So we have clients here is longer, healthier. I mean, healthy, not healthier. Healthy, their hair is longer than Will's, but it's a lighter texture. Nothing is hurting their neck. So if you want to cut your hair, that's fine. That's your prerogative. But if you want to stay with your hair and now you're getting to that length where your neck is bothering you, these are ideas that Will and I came up with. So we'll go first. What are some of the ideas now that you change your mind and you only change your mind today? Yeah. What are some of the things you are going to do to alleviate the, the neck pain? Yeah. So one thing I already... Let's take off the mask, baby. It's okay. Yeah. The one thing that I already started doing is making sure that I'm always wearing my lock sock because if I'm hanging on the couch or somewhere else, the lock sock has your locks all in one little place and then you can just rest it on your couch on your shoulders and right. it does it and alleviates all that pressure on your shoulders. So you let it back. hang to the back. Yeah, but I'll put it on the couch, on the back okay. of the couch. So it's like resting on top. Okay. So it's not like falling back. Right. And then the other thing I suggested was get massages or yeah. even buy a massager. That, yeah. Yeah, buy a massager. They'll have one that's heated mm -hmm. or whatever. You, we said compress. Compresses, well. yes. Heated yes. pads. You know, there are things out there where you don't have to get rid of your length. Yeah, and you can keep length. it. And, um, you know, and, it's and that's, that's, this anyway. let's even go into more detail. A good chiropractor. I believe in chiropractic. Some are BS, but if you could find a good one, mm -hmm. just to take the pressure off acupuncture, your neck. Acupuncture. Acupuncture. Yeah, mm -hmm. acupuncture. So we are just giving you guys examples of things where that could help with, you okay, babe? That could help with the pain. If you know, if it's really affecting your health, years ago before I met Jimmy, I met a client who legs was by his ankle and it actually was affecting a disc in his spine. He was having horrible and when he went to get an x-ray, the dog, and his locks were way thicker than mm -hmm. yours and mine combined. They were like the size of thumbs. Mm -hmm. It was, his locks were so long that one day he was coming out of, you okay, baby? Yeah, so, like, yeah, it's fine. Too much hair. That's what it is. <laughs> what? Long hair. Long hair. Don't, don't care. care. <laughs> One day he 
was coming out of his car. Yeah, let's put it on the other side. One day he was coming out of his car. He said his locks was outside the car and almost trapped on the wheel. Where while he was, yeah. Oh my goodness. So he said that was the last show. So he cut his locks to, um, he let his mother fold his locks in half. And when I met him, his locks was like where a woman's bra would be. Okay. His locks has grown back since then. But he said he was having horrible pain. Now I'm saying this to say, if you're at the point where your locks is really affecting your health, your health come first. Okay, please. You can, it's your choice. You can cut it because I cut mine because it was, and it wasn't my it wasn't affecting my health. I just needed to focus on this um, this hypothyroid, Graves' disease. In Will's case, it's not affecting his health. Mm -hmm. um, as we said, acupuncture, um, massages, massages, your locks. Also, up. how you carry your hair. We forgot to mention yeah. that. But some people, they could put their hair in like a high bun. Charlene, how do you have your hair? You just have it hanged down? I'll put it in the high bun. You do a high bun and doesn't bother your neck, right? So there's a client behind me. When I met her, her locks were short, too. It's not past her, 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 her shoulders, almost to the back of her bra. I cannot do a high bun. It hurts my neck right here. I let mine hang in the back. I call it a condom without the tip. Not trying to be funny. Like what you said, the lock sock. Lock sock. Not a whole sock. Yeah. You cut the tip off where the locks, I could bend my hair, fold it in, and it tucks in. Do what works for you. I know I can't do a high bun. Mine have to kind of hang in the back. However, I don't like my hair touching my skin. That's that's another reason why, besides spiritual reasons, I wrap my hair up all the time. Do what works for you. Find a doctor. Acupuncture is good. It's good right. for you whether if you have long locks or not. It's or just not. good. Yeah. It's just good. Yeah. Yeah. Self-care. 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 Like we even hot. Hot, um, there's these things you can buy with little rice in them. You put them in a microwave. They look like little sacks with beans and they get warm and then you put it on your neck. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's this thing on Amazon. You buy it, you pump it up and it stretches your neck to take the pressure off. So you, you remember a lot of us are on computers and keep, that's another thing too. We on computers, we looking down at our phones mm -hmm. and this weight is constantly pulling. So it is fine. You find what works for you. I hope this information helps. Again, we'll show you. It's your... always great I know. talking with you guys. I know, I and know. Seeing the great Yanni. Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I know they want to see you flick it here to the other side. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, it is. Yep, that's y'all heard that, right? When whoosh. <laughs> and Will, anytime Will comes, I know if you look to the side, turn to one Charlie. And you can move it. Okay. If you look at Will's locks, it's not neat. Will pays me for that. He's like, Yanni, do not make it neat. I don't I like, like I want it. Fuzzy still, so his locks is not looking like a traditional neat locks like the rest of my clients would look. look he wants his locks look still fuzzy in the root, but the point is it is healthy. All right, guys, stay tuned for more videos. Turn to the front so you can get one. Turn to the back that way so we can back. see the back of it. Yeah, that's turn. That's it. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of hair. Can't believe I known him that long, eh? This kid, I've watched this lock grow. When he came into then, he's like, I'm not cutting it. I was like, thank you, God. <laughs> it's not even about charging you extra. That's like me cutting my baby. I have that to grow. I can't cut that. Yeah. Like, no. I was like, thank God, boo. He was like, I will use hot, hot um, stuff on my neck. I'm like, good, do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if it bit your toes. Just don't cut it. <laughs> All right, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much, boo.